Hi, my name is Bert Baker. I've been a student of transmission and clutch design for over 30 years. Um, I'm not an expert, but I have learned a few things over the years. What I'd like to do is share some of those things with you today. Let's say you have a transmission that's exhibiting shifting problems, um, upshift, downshift, inability to find neutral, the very first thing you need to do before you crack open the transmission is assess the health of the clutch in the clutch actuator. And um, one of the easiest short tests to establish whether your clutch is healthy or sick is to uh, get the rear wheel off the ground and uh, put the shifter in top gear and pull the clutch all the way in. Now, you'll see Scott is going to be rolling over the rear wheel. Um, it rolls, it doesn't roll over easily, but it rolls over. And then you let the clutch out slowly, slowly, slowly. Just feeling the friction. You feeling a little friction? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're starting to grab. Yep. Right? Yep. So with that, you see that we're mm, a little bit more than halfway out you know from the bar i would deem this a healthy clutch this clutch does what in clutch actuator is doing what it's intended to do which is disengage the motor from the transmission that's the primary purpose of the clutch and so we have a healthy clutch uh, with that um, we can go ahead and dig into the transmission if for whatever reason, the um, clutch does not completely disengage the, the transmission from the engine. And if the engagement point, which we observed to be a little more than half off of the handlebar, if the engagement point is close to the handlebar, you got some problems you might need to look into. If uh, if your clutch actuator is a cable type, uh, it could just be an, an adjustment here and here, or it could be a worn cable. A worn cable will eat up clutch travel. We'll get into that on the next uh, video uh, next month. But uh, if your clutch is hydraulic, you could have, uh, uh, you need to, might need to re-bleed it. Um, you could also have some worn uh, uh, lever pen up here. There's a number of other things that we'll get into on the next video. But uh, I hope this helps. Have a great day.